special moments, beautiful music. CFQR 92.5 FM, Montreal. Good evening, and we hope you're ready for more of the hottest sounds and biggest stars in music today. And our next two guests are two of the very biggest, Eddie Rabbit and Crystal Gale with a beautiful love song. Yeah. Hey, Marilyn, you know, I'm a sucker for love songs, especially by two of these great country music artists. Oh, yeah, I feel the same way. You know, isn't it funny how country love songs have changed over the years? I mean, the first one I heard, I, I'll never forget it. Unforgettable. It must have been beautiful. Yeah. I can't remember the melody, but I'll never forget the title. I'll always call you baby because you only got one tooth. <laughs> Well, this next love song is not only a country hit, it's also a pop hit as well. In fact, it's this week's number 10 song. And to sing this lovely...
Tonight we're presenting America's top 10 songs, but we're also featuring one of America's hottest comedians. He's been headlining all over the country and appearing in concert with stars like Diana Ross and Tom Jones. Please join me in welcoming Mr. George Wallace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. You having a good time so far? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put a stop to that. <laughs> now, I've worked with a lot of music stars, but the only thing I really know about these people are what I read in these crazy newspapers like this. The National Exposure. It's a crazy newspaper. Listen to this. I was reading in here. Kenny Rogers says that Colonel Sanders visits him every night in his room. Says he comes in with wings, a halo, and a side order of coleslaw. <laughs> the world is crazy. And it says also here that in Las Vegas, they're making the bookmakers are making odds on show business next year. It says that five to one that Barry Manilow will have a hit this year. Ten to one odds that Liz Taylor will get married again. And the odds are a billion to one that there'll be no Richard Simmons Jr. <laughs> Listen to this one. Okay. It says, Cool and the gang said that E.T. landed in New York City. Now, of course, the next morning they had to get him. They found him on blocks with his heart light ripped off. <laughs> I see here where uh, Joe Cocker did a commercial, a Memorex commercial. Now, it wasn't the uh, voice that broke the glass. It was his face. <laughs> crazy world. These papers are crazy. And it says that Rick James is now starring in a new TV show about a bigamist. It's called Seven Brides for One Brother. <laughs> right on, Rick James. <laughs> but here's something I didn't get from the paper. The Solid Gold Dancers are here right now with this week's top ten songs, and there's some crazy dancers, and here they are. The number nine song features the Little River Band's new lead singer, John Farnham. The other guy is their latest success. Former number one song in England, Belgium, and Australia. Goody Two Shoes by Adam Ant is at number eight this week. Since her first hit in 1968, our next guest has been one of the most dynamic performers in pop music. Tonight we're going to see a special presentation of this superstar, singing her latest Solid Gold release, I Knew You When. Solid Gold continues with the number seven song from Ray Parker Jr. and Rachel Sweet. Hi, coming up on our next McGowan's World, a report on the reporters who follow the boys of summer. Then we'll go shooting with Canada's great photographer, Freeman Patterson. Here, I, I really like the old stones because the, the, the moth and the way the, the light sort of strikes the top and creates the highlights and the shadows, and it's, it's visually very, very attractive to me. Then I step into the ring as a sparring partner for Davey Hilton, Jr. McGowan's World, Wednesday at 7.30. It's the show business event of the year, the 55th annual Academy Awards, live from the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Los Angeles. Be there for all the excitement and glitter as the movie world's best are honored for excellence. The 55th Annual Academy Awards with hosts Liza Minnelli and Dudley Moore coming April 11th. Jr. grew up in the same Detroit neighborhood as Diana Ross and the Temptations. 
And today, these talented artists are still neighbors at the top of the pop and R&B charts. Tonight, Ray is going to sing his solid gold smash, Bad Boy, which is this week's number seven song. Please join us in welcoming Mr. Ray Parker, Jr. <laughs> Call me Pagan. Get it over here, honey. <laughs> oh, I just love your guitar there. I wore my little blue dress just to match you up. <laughs> hey, madam, I have to tell you, it's good to finally meet you. Oh, well, thanks, honey. <laughs> Listen, if you're finally a bad boy, how'd you like to get spanked by a mean mama? Madam, that, that, that sounds kind of weird. Ooh, that's because it is weird. Yeah, I was kicked out of the Girl Scouts for trying to have an affair with a scoutmaster. He just would have nothing to do with the 50 cookies I offered him. 
Well, madam, I won't let you spank me, but I'd love to be interviewed for a Rolling Stuff magazine. Oh, wonderful. I've got lots of questions. Uh, first question, you've recorded some great songs over the years, but what's your personal favorite? Uh, I guess uh, the other woman. Oh, yes, your big number one hit that was nominated <laughs> for a Grammy. Yeah, tell me, have you ever been referred to as the other woman? The other woman? Honey, I've been referred to as the other woman, the other broad, the other floozy, Easy Irma, Whoopi Wanda, and Fat Seat Betty. Man, you got more nicknames than the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, now that you mention them, they gave me a nickname, too. Yeah, they used to call me Slam Dunk Dottie. <laughs> but enough about me. I want you to tell us what it was like to grow up in the same neighborhood where people like Diana Ross and the Temptations came from. I just love that word, Temptation. <laughs> <laughs> It was a pretty great place, you know, to be a young musician. And there was a lot of music all around us. Oh, that's the best thing about music. It's everywhere. In my neighborhood, we even had a disco run by Quakers. A disco run by Quakers? Yes, it was called Shea Shaker Thy Booty. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing for sure, I know we can get ready to hear some great music from the Jay Giles Band. That's for sure, darling. It's a solid gold presentation of their hit, I Do. I always just said I try, but here it is, I do. <laughs> and that's the truth. Mm. All right, bad boy, how about if I promise not to spank you too hard? <laughs> <laughs> Number six is a third top ten single from the platinum album Mirage. Fleetwood Mac has another hit with Love in Store. Moving up three spots in its third week in the countdown is the second solo hit for Michael McDonald. I Gotta Try is the number five song. Rachel Sweet started out in the entertainment business, appearing in summer stock productions at the age of six. Today, although still involved in acting, it's Rachel's work in music that has brought her the greatest recognition, both here and in Europe. Her new solid gold release is called Voodoo, and to perform it tonight, here's Miss Rachel Sweet.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that song was called Voodoo. Reminds me of the time I was lost in the jungle. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yes, I came up upon this fast food restaurant for cannibals. Their most popular item on the menu was Missionary McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce was divine. <laughs> I ate there faithfully. Ooh, my. So stay tuned for more of Solid Gold. Maybe I'll let you have it your way. <laughs> Cross my legs and hope to die. <laughs> Marilyn sings a number four song in Devo when Solid Gold returns. Jake's out of one scrape and into another each week on Tales of the Gold Monkey. You could have killed us. Yeah, I could have. You said I could spend the night? You can. Well, I didn't say I was going to spend it with you. <laughs> Tales of the Gold Monkey, Wednesdays at 8. Passions flare each week on Dynasty. Is it so difficult for you to tell me? You don't want me to go? Yes. Damned hard, Mark. Oh, don't give me that, Kirby. You wanted me that night. As much as I wanted you. I've got a lot of love, too, to give that child. Your brand of love, Alexis, he can manage very well without. Believe me. Dynasty, Wednesdays at 10. Marilyn, I know you're a fan of Kenny Loggins. Oh, I am. So I'm sure you like his latest hit singer. Definitely. It's number four on this week's countdown, and it's called Heart to Heart. And I know listening to you sing it will be a pleasure. And that's host to host. Well, thank you, Rex. Ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn McCoy. Well, you know, Rex, I was just sitting here thinking. What were you thinking about, madam? 
Cold weather, polluted water, roller derby. Why are you thinking about that? Because I'm in kind of a Cleveland state of mind. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, I just got back from Cleveland. Uh -huh. I'm writing an article for Rolling Stuff all about local bands across the country. Oh, Cleveland. I bet you saw some great talent. Honey, I was entertained by rock groups, country groups, jazz groups, punk groups. I, 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 I just can't tell you how many groups I was entertained by. So, madam, what did you do when you left your hotel room? Oh, really? Keep it up, Rex, and you and your teeth will be going on separate vacations. Easy, easy, madam. Now, tell us about some of the towns you visited. Well, in Miami, I saw this terrific new band. Uh -huh. Every member of the group was an illegal alien doctor. Really? <laughs> what were they called? The Wet Quacks. <laughs> get it? Yeah, get it. I got it. Did you hear any good country music, madam? Country music? Country. Well, in Nashville, I went to see the Grand Ole Opry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I saw this 300-pound woman. They call her Maxi Pearl. <laughs> She went to a dairy farm and they accidentally strapped into a milking machine. It was just awful. I hope you got down to visit my hometown, Atlanta. Mm. You know, they got, they got the world's only Jewish blues singer down there. Yes, and I met him. Call him Blind Melon Lipship. Yeah, exactly. He wrote a song about me, you know. Uh -huh. It's called, I Can't See Your Face. Who do I thank? Oh. Well, madam, right now you can stay right where you are and see some of music's most talented performers. Well, I ain't gonna budge. Here they are with more of this week's countdown, the Solid Gold Dancers. Yeah. Yay! by Steely Dan, Elton John, and Cheap Trick, Toto, and Africa. A former teenage actor who played a small part in the Beatles film, A Hard Day's Night, has a number two hit, You Can't Hurry Love, is by Bill Collins. She said, love don't come easy. Akron, Ohio is not considered a, a music capital by most people, but most people would probably agree that any city that could produce a group like our next guest deserves some recognition. In the annals of pop music, these five performers fit into a category all their own, and tonight they're performing their brand new solid gold release, That's Good. Please welcome Devo. <laughs>
from Charlie McLean, the number one song, and a duet from Rex and Rachel Sweet. Wednesdays, it's action on The Fall Guy. Relax, I do this for a living. You call this living? Seavers, I've been hoping I'd run into you. It's all right, Colt. The Phipps is in. Sure doesn't look like it. You kidnapped Eddie, I want him back. I didn't kidnap nobody. You're next. The Fall Guy, starring Lee Majors, Wednesdays at 9. We'll be able to use an elevation of about 0.7. Howard here at the scene reporting from Montreal. It's an ethnic jungle here, Frank. I'm talking ethnic. They got language up the wazoo. And we're ready to move in on this territory, Frank. The fireworks go off Thursday at 2,200 hours. That's 10, Frank. Shoot, it's priest damn civilians. McLean has been recording songs since she was nine years old. Of course, back then, she did it at home with her father's recording machine. <laughs> Today, her recordings are strictly professional, and her audience is one of country music's largest. Her latest country gold single, With You, is near the top of the country charts, and we're really happy that she's here to sing it tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Charlie McLean. Charlie McLean, really a great country singer. But I'll be honest, to me, country singers and country fans are crazy. All their songs are about cheating, drinking, and heaving. <laughs> you ever buy a country record that comes with an air sick bag? And sometimes the country fans can be touchy. One night on stage, 
I kidded one of them about their boots, the overalls, and their bushy beard. I mean, this lady didn't have a sense of humor at all. <laughs> and they loved their southern cooking in Nashville. Now, I know for a fact they don't like soul food. I got kicked out of the Grand Ole Opry for eating a famous Amos cookie. <laughs> And one time, I was flying on a private jet with a country star, and you know, flying in the South can be an experience. We were flying into Beaumont, Texas. Control Tower said, Flight 14, y'all can land on runway five. And the pilot said, but, but there's a tractor on runway five. Now, y'all be careful now, you hear? <laughs> now, these next people are always careful to look their best and to dance their finest. And here they are with this week's number one song, the Solid Gold Dancer. An artist who wrote, produced, and played seven different instruments on his latest album, Midnight Love, has this week's number one song. Sexual Healing is by Marvin Gaye. Well, Rachel, singing this song together would be kind of a reunion for the two of us. Right. We recorded Everlasting Love back in 1981. Yes, indeed. Well, we had to wait a couple of years, but looks like we're finally going to get the opportunity to do an encore. Magic of David Copperfield. <laughs> 
It's an entertaining hour of mystery and astonishment as master magician David Copperfield performs his amazing and unequaled feats of illusion. The Magic of David Copperfield, Friday at 9. Fridays at Midnight, host Peter King gives us a taste of Montreal's nightlife and brings us some of the greatest music acts around today. Nightlife, Fridays at Midnight. Another chapter of Solid Gold. Yeah, but we still have to recap this week's top ten, so let's read on. Ah, Evelyn Wood couldn't have said it better. Number ten, You and I, by tonight's guests, Eddie Rabbit and Crystal Gale. Number nine, The Other Guy, by the Little River Band. Number eight, Goody Two Shoes, by Adam Ant. Number seven, Bad Boy, by another of tonight's guests, Ray Parker Jr. Number six, Love in Store, by Fleetwood Mac. Number five, I Gotta Try, by Michael McDonald. Number four, Heart to Heart, by Kenny Loggins. Number three, Africa, by Toto. Number two, You Can't Hurry Love, by Phil Collins. And this week's new number one song is Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. We'd like to thank all our guests for making this hour so special. And be sure to join us next week for more of the hottest stars and top songs in music. Until then, good, good night. night. Solid Gold, this is Robert W. Morgan. Solid